Hello, everybody. Welcome back. We uh, we got all of our stuff, so it's time. Time to get plowing. Because, because why not? That's chicken. What are you doing? Silly rooster. Silly rooster. Silly rooster. Okay. So we're going to cut up a field. Crash. We're going to, we're going to plow up one of our fields. We're going to get down here. We have eight and nine, and that's what we're going to go for. Uh, I'm thinking it'll be a quick and easy to do that. I kind of thought about pulling them together, and then I realized there's bushes between them. So, yeah, it's not going to happen. So, let's see here. We need to allow create fields. And then this does not rotate. Those of you that are going to scream at me for cutting things the wrong way. Just so we are, we're all clear. This is not a rotational plow. All right, let's... I probably could have done a better job. Yeah. Okay, stop going that way. So we'll carve up this field and we're going to put, I think, we'll start with, um, actually, I don't know what we're going to start with. Well, it's got to be grain because that's the head that we've got. We've got a grain head. So... Okay, I know I'm supposed to start in the middle of the field, but I want to make the outline of the field first, okay? Okay. I'm just going to sort of rough in the field. Just so we have an idea of where we're, where we're doing the cutting and carving. Eventually, we'll probably have to think about, you know, a stronger... What am I doing? Oh, yeah, actually, that's fine. Uh, we're going to have to think about a stronger tractor place. Oh, Bessie here. I don't really have a lot of power. Okay. But it's it's a functional tractor that was very cheap. I if there was a three points on the back of that big tank, we could do the, we could do it with the big tank. Um, but it's probably better that there isn't a three point on the back of that tank. Because I'd probably screw it up pretty epically. Alright. So this isn't much of a field. So it's not going to generate us much income. But we're not really looking for a lot of income. We're looking for what will become... Well, eventually, we're probably going to get rid of the, um, the grain header. Uh... Okay, so now, if I drop that in there, this is the way to do it, right? Probably not, but this is the way I think I'm going to do it. All right. Um, eventually, we might get rid of the grain header and go to a corn header. No, we'll probably sell the thing and go to just silage. Because, again, we're not really going for, like, raising grains and stuff. We're going for mainly orchard, but we're going to supplement with some grain and um, some animal. Mainly because who doesn't like fresh milk, right? Communists. No. Um, <laughs> uh, so this shouldn't take me too long because this is not a very big field. Then we just have to cultivate it and seed it. Now I'm kind of thinking with the uh, the old um, tank, I'm gonna call it tank, um, that I'll do some of that off the screen. But you guys can kind of tell me if I should or shouldn't. I'm thinking I'm gonna do it all on screen. But I was sort of like, does everybody want to watch me continue to play with that tank? But I don't know. Some of you might. I'm not super, super, like, worried about hitting every patch of grass. If there's a patch of grass, there's a patch of grass. It adds cacta to the field. So I'm going with cacta. Now, I haven't put any more um, things in. 
because I'm kind of looking at what I want to do. A lot of you suggested some new maps. Um, we will, like I said, we will go to a new map eventually. I want to kind of feel like I've, I've succeeded here on this map before we go on to another map. Um, a lot of times I feel like I bail out of a map because it's getting difficult or something like that and I have no money. I mean, yes, sometimes I make it worse by specifically not ha making sure I don't have any money, but... I'd like to feel like we succeeded at the old farm and then we just kind of moved up in the world. That's what I want to feel like. Don't want to feel like we just quit on the farm. So that's my that's my thought on that. And there is a there I'm just kind of looking for unique maps out there. There's one that I'm hoping will be released soon, but eh, who knows? I like small stuff that I can handle, and I can handle this map. I don't need to involve any other peoples. Not like Colbert Park. Good grief. That map requires help. Now, by making this field semi-square like this, I'm also kind of hoping that I can use hired help. Alright, so let's, uh, let's quickly finish this field. How about that? Sound good? Good. the fields in case I accidentally drop it onto something. Alright, so that's a field. That field needs to be done eventually, I think. Uh, maybe some other time. We'll do that field. So let's go get the cultivator. And we will cultivate it. And plant it. And it will be good. Um, we are without... We have to we do have to do a little bit of work to get um, enough money to buy the um, what the 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 uh, trailer that we're going to be emptying into so we do have that oh wait no I don't no I don't what am I thinking no I don't duh the Volkswagen can do it yeah I think. 
Gun the bolt so I can do it. I don't know. Let's find out. Stop the tractor. Let's find out. Uh, cars. No, the Volkswagen cannot do it. Oh, now I'm sad. <sighs> I thought the Volkswagen might have been able to do it. I would have made life so easy. This cultivating done. Yeah. We'll be, uh, we'll have this all taken care of, and then we can, um, we'll grab that planter of ours. And we'll be, uh, we'll be sitting purdy, I think. I gotta, I gotta not do that a bunch, but at least. So it apparently is bouncing a little bit. That's interesting. All right, well that's cool. All right, well that's that's something to think about. We apparently have a bouncy cultivator, which would make sense because of it, what it is versus you know. It's not exactly like a, um, I mean, it's, it's homemade for good. Oh, good. Um, it's a nice homemade unit. And that's cool. I like, I like the idea of, of having a bunch of homemade equipment. I was thinking about something, and now I gotta remember what I was thinking about. I don't remember now. We can certainly see the areas that we missed with the uh, plow now. That's that's wonderful. Oh well, I guess all those little like sudden tractor speed ups have to do with. Wow, is that? I don't know. I don't know. Or maybe it's the bouncing is actually really causing a problem. I think it might be. Uh, that's unfortunate because, you know, I don't really have a way to counteract that. Aside from, of course, buying a better cultivator. It's a basic unit. What do you want? Okay, this will be nice and quick. Then we'll hit up the uh, the little spots left over, and then it's go grab our cedar and see what we can do. Hopefully, we'll be able to see this quick. Now it's just like taunting me because some of these, I mean, yeah, some of these are my fault, like that one. But some of these, it's just like, why are you not cultivating? Why do you hate me? Why? Like, why did that not want to cultivate until the very last microsecond? I don't know. Why are you not cultivated? Come on, cultivate. There, now you're cultivated. Will you cultivate now? Okay, looks like I might have to cultivate at an angle. That's interesting. All right, do we have almost everything? Uh, 
Nope. So it just doesn't want to cultivate. All right, fine. Don't cultivate. Cool. All right. We've got that done. <laughs> now, time to seed. Now, we don't have any fertilizer spreader because we don't have a fertilizer spreader. It's okay, though. We will, we will take the loss in, in grains and yield to actually get some, some planted. Because I think that's, I think that's wise. We'll take the loss. Oop. Until we can, uh. So we can properly afford a proper piece of equipment. All right, let's uh, refill. Fill her all the way up. All right, so we have to unfold and lower. Cool. All right. I will run you over. Squarsh. I squarshed him. Too bad he's immortal. Who buys an immortal rooster already? Jeez. Word to the wise, don't buy a mortal roosters. It will only ruin your day. <laughs> uh, all right, so let's unfold. Uh, let's go up and down. All right, what are we going to do? Um, our... Uh, No, I don't want statistics. Price. Uh, bah, 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 bah. I mean, wheat makes sense. Eh. Eh. It's just, let's just, we don't have a baler. Let's go with canola. When we get a baler, that'll make even more sense, actually. No, go forward, silly thing. So lower and turn on. Yay! We're seeding, we're seeding. A very first field. Uh, we'll probably turn it off and turn around. Yeah. Because I probably, I need to go across the top. That's what I need to do. I'm figuring it out, man. I'm figuring it out. Turn that on. There we go. Go across the top like this. And that'll that'll cut me some slack when I'm going up and down the field. There go. I think that's good. Yeah. You guys are all like, oh, face palm. Because I'm doing something that you're like, oh man. I know. I, that's why you watch. I know it. All right, turn that guy off. Can't see. Think this is the right spot. Turn it off. Hey, look at that. I got the right spot. All right. So we'll have a field sown in cannoli. We got at least another well probably before the canola is ripe we'll have probably at least another um plum harvest if not another olive harvest as well oh that didn't seed either uh interesting um so we'll probably have a plum and or olive harvest uh before the canola is ripe And that will, that along with a little bit more time with our friend the tank, will let us, um, let us afford stuff. I don't know what though. All right, I'm gonna figure out how to seed that apparently. It's interesting that both the cultivator and the seeder are failing at certain points on here. So it undulates in a way that's 
unexpected. Unexpected, man. Alright, so if we go like this. Yeah. That's the smart way to do it. I mean, I'm sure there's a smarter way to do it, but that's the way I'm doing it. And then we'll... I don't know what our next goal object is. I mean, well, actually I do. I mean, we need, we need a forage wagon and we need a baler. That's what we need, a forage wagon and a baler. Oh, and a mower. Yeah, we need a mower too. We probably need to at least at some point consider upgrading our tractor. Uh, it's a good little tractor, but... It's, it's gonna struggle, I think? Maybe it won't. I mean... Probably will. It is already sort of struggling, but we're we're making it because, well, it's not actually that bad. Because I mean, we're we're using equipment that's small enough that this this guy can can operate it. I think there's like little divots in my field, field divots. Stupid field divots. Somebody was playing golf in my field and left divots. Ugh. Jerks. Alright, let's see if I can get this from this angle. Sort of mostly. Okay. I'll take sort of mostly and let's see about this thing like this. Yeah, mostly. Okay. Alright, there we go. One field done. Look at that. So we have a field. A field sown in canola. Sweet. All right. Um, let's see. Lift the harvester. Fold the harvester. So we have a canola field. That is going to be our grass field, probably. It's technically not shown as a field, so we're going to make it a grass field. I th think that's all we really, really direly need is a, is a forage harvester, a mower, and a baler. I think if we have those things, then we're good to go. I think. I'll go put this guy back here. you doing here? Oh, who knows? What are you? Oh, I know what you're doing. And yep, and yep. Okay. So everybody is... Yeah, I'm stuck. Alright, fine. I'll go out here. There! <laughs> I'm not stuck anymore. Alright, next time we will definitely have some harvesting to do. If not that stuff, then lumber at bare minimum to try to get our money up. We need... Uh, 10 G's for our first loading wagon. We need nine, so we have five. So we need 14 G. And then I need to put the balers in and they're like a couple hundred. So figure 16,000, 16 to 20 grand is what we need. And then eventually, eventually we need this right here because that'll, that'll let us do foraging, but that's 60. So that's a long ways away. Yep, that's what we're doing. <laughs> All right, until then, I've been Derek Tebbers. This is Farming Simulator 15 in the oldie times. Until next time, game on and be awesome, everybody. Mm -hmm.